Hello, sweet friends, and welcome to Stellar J Studios. I am Gina, and I'm thrilled you are here with me today. I am going to work in my little field guide that I recently rediscovered. If you haven't watched my previous videos on the field guide, uh, you might want to check them out. It's kind of an interesting story about how I completely had a disastrous 100-day um, project, but now I've turned it into something that's kind of fun, and I've been able to go back and add some things to it. So this first journal that I'm working in is the one I called, uh, or the one I titled Life. And I had had a lot of stuff already put in this little journal, but the problem was it was all over the place. And there were too many colors that were screaming at me and everything was competing for my attention. So I knew that I needed to tone this down. I also needed to push some stuff in the background and pull some stuff forward. And so this video is all about that. To start off, I took some paint that had already showed up in that journal, which was green. And I'm just using craft paints. I mixed up a little dark green, light green, lime green, and some white. I think I might have even put some blue in there. And then I used my um, glazing liquid or glazing medium. If you haven't checked out my previous video about mediums, uh, go ahead and give it a look because it talks about using different mediums with layers and glazing medium is one of the ones I used in that uh, video. So anyway, it kind of makes my paint a little watered down and less opaque. Um, it does the same thing that water would do. It just doesn't make it as watery. So I'm taking that green paint that has that glazing medium in it and I'm just going through my pages and trying to create some continuity by spreading that green throughout. And I can use different variations of that green. So like here, I'm using a little bit of blue um, to make it a little more cool. That is okay. As long as I'm still using that same mother color that I have on the uh, palette right there, that same base color, it'll keep everything pretty consistent. And so I'm just gently pushing that paint around, um, covering up not everything, just the stuff that I want to go in the background. And you can see that it'll still allow the images to show through. That's, that's where that glazing liquid comes in handy. So I can still see a little bit of the pieces of that background image. But notice I did not cover up my animals. I wanted those things to be the stars of this page. And so I didn't cover those up with paint. And so now they've come forward. What I did next was I added that really light green paint and it was pretty opaque. And I put those big um, circles or big dots on the page and I loved that. So now I have a back uh, background that's kind of dark and then I've pulled forward those animals by leaving them alone. And then I took some lighter paint and just kind of pushed some marks around on that page. And so now I've got like three different layers here that is really just one layer. Once I do all of that, I'm gonna seal this up with, um, I think I'm using gloss medium. So I'm gonna seal it up with my gloss medium and that does a couple of things. One, it makes everything just really kind of come to life and makes everything bright. The other thing is it will protect everything that is underneath it. So if I want to go back and add more layers, I won't mess up anything that I've already done. And I love using mediums in between my layers for that purpose so that I can keep my bottom layers intact. Anyway, I'm just kind of going through here, adding a few more touches. I'm not going to work on the whole journal today because that's one of the things about working with gloss medium or working with uh, matte medium is that it takes a while to dry and if you do too much at one time um, it'll make your pages stick together and then you've got a big disaster. So I'm just going to use it on a few pieces of paper and then I'm going to let it dry and I do end up and come back to this and add some more stuff um, but I saved that for another video so watch for that video coming up in the next week.
All right, my friends, I think I'm about done for this session. I hope you are doing well in your field guide journals. I'd love to know uh, what you're doing with them and how you are progressing. So leave me a comment below and I will definitely get back to you. All right. I hope you are healthy. I hope you are happy. And I hope you do something creative today. Have a great rest of the day. Bye.